welcome to today's reaction and analysis video and today we have Palagia. Okay, so let's go straight to the point and see what we can learn, um, what we can analyze um, from this um, Russian legend, okay? Um, I think out of all um, the um, Russian singers I know, she's the one that sings mostly um, traditional kind of style. Yes, and she has an amazing voice, rich in tone. But hey, let me let you hear for yourself, okay? All right, let's go. I like the stage and immediately you can tell it's going to be a traditional kind of style because the costume is connected with the music. Yes. And you can see she's wearing a traditional style costume. I like the tiara though. Is it a crown or something? <laughs> Her vocals almost make you melt on the inside. I mean, there's a lot of things happening, but I'll take time to break it break it down. Um, like, for instance, there's tremendous control she's executing um, with this vocal she's doing because there's dynamics, there's little note bends, there's a lot happening. Let's let's listen on. <laughs> I don't know if you guys hear what I'm hearing. Well, you know, there are two ways of listening to music. You can listen on the surface, like, you know, generically, but you can then listen to the details, what happens inside, and you're not really um, enjoying it like a whole song, but you're picking out the details, what's happening, breaking it down, so you're more focused on the details. And that's what I'm doing right now, and that's why I'm here to help you understand and help you see the little t things, the little things that she's actually doing that makes you melt on the inside. And the voice is so emotional. Woo! Did you see this, the face of that lady? <laughs> Immediately you can tell this is a real 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 pro because she sounds so pitch perfect She's doing everything a really good singer should do uh, Dynamics what I mean is like Something like that, okay? I'm just showing you different levels of volumes in music. There are terms for that, like forte, loud, mezzo forte, moderately loud, fortissimo, very loud, piano soft, mezzo piano, uh, moderately soft, pianissimo, uh, uh, very soft, and there's one called pianissimo, which means very, very soft or as soft as possible. And then we have pianissimo, which means very loud or very, very loud. Yes, you learn a lot from here, don't you? <laughs> so she's applied each level to bring out that emotion. Mm. 
notice she wasn't she's not just using her voice she's also using her body especially her arms it's like watching the movies that's why you know these guys are called artists and not just singers artists artist comprises a singer plus every other thing okay they are they act like an artist in a movie does okay and you see she uses her hands and everything and everything adds to the beauty of the song Amazing. I'm feeling sort of emotional myself. <laughs> the, the singing is, is is just so, so, so deep. Um, the voice. You know, you can also listen to just instrumentals and cry, you know, and feel so emotional because music talks. Even though we can't understand the language, I know the subtitles are there, but I'm trying so hard to focus on um, what makes her voice so nice. So I'm not focusing so much on um, the words. Oh, wow. Now you can tell the music has forteed. Yes, forte means get louder. And that's just an Italian word meaning uh, meaning to get louder. And her voice also has got louder. The instrumentalists, they've got louder. And these things take you on a journey, take your soul on a journey. That's why sometimes when you listen to music, you forget about your worries. You forget about everything that kind of weighs you down and you feel so light again. Music is powerful, guys. Such incredible control. She's, she's just giving us everything in one song. She's singing head voice here. So she just packaged everything in one song. So if you want to learn how to apply some things, you know, or most things, you know, we teach in singing, you just need to listen to this track because it has the techniques, it has the styles, it has all the registers, uh, mixed voice, head voice, um, now head voice, yeah. And wow, <laughs> wow, what more can I say? Okay, I just decided to switch off from the technical part of things and just focus a little bit um, 
on the lyrics of the song with this these few minutes left and she's talking about sleep but it's not yet night time you know some of these songs they are really poetic you just don't read them on the surface you just you read it's like a shroud the letters itself so there's a meaning inside it it could mean um you're tired you're getting distracted be before it's really time to take a break you know it's like sleeping on duty you're at work but you're sleeping having little naps here and there it could also mean distraction so you see what i mean yeah so it's like sometimes symbols um it's very poetic in nature music is so poor i love songs like that I, I I honestly don't blame the people who are crying, yeah? I know the song means a lot to them. For me, I may cry for a different reason. I may, may see tears for a different reason for someone else. Someone else. Um, the song is so emotional. It's, it's, the words are so tailored with the vocal she's using, the voice she's using, the style she's using. So it's not like in a world of his own the lyrics is there and the style she is using to blend it with is there no everything connects beautiful song and thank you guys once again for suggesting uh, this amazing singer Palegia. i hope you learned a lot and i hope we enjoyed the analyzing together um i'll be seeing you next time all right so don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time yep see you bye bye I've got this thing for you